In this Business Tech Planet video, we'll show you how to make a table in SharePoint with the new accessibility settings. We're starting with a new SharePoint page. Here, hover just below the title section, and you'll see a circular plus icon. Click it, and you'll have the option to select a web part to add to the page. To make a table, you'll need to select the text web part. Once you've added a text web part, head to the menu above, and click the Insert Table icon. The default table size is 3 columns and 3 rows. We'll show you how to insert additional rows and columns later. For now, let's add in some information about our clients. The new accessibility settings allow us to describe the table using alt text. To do that, head up to the menu, and hit the table styles icon. In the drop-down, you'll notice some new options at the bottom. Let's say the table contains client names, ages, and locations. Once done, you'll see the text whenever you hover over the table. We also have two checkboxes. Selecting the header row bolds the text in the first row. And selecting the first column bolds text in the first column. To change the style, select from the 10 designs at the top. We'll choose the themed header. The color is inherited from your site theme. To change that, head to the top right and click the cog icon. Then head down and select change the look. Here you can go to theme and choose a different color scheme. Now we'll demonstrate table resizing and alignment. To resize, hover over the right border until you see the resize icon. Then click and drag to change the width. To realign the table, head back to the table styles, and select a new alignment. This won't affect the text inside the cells. To realign the text, select a cell containing text, and change the alignment in the menu above. You can also realign text in multiple cells by selecting the cells, and clicking the alignment icons in the menu. To delete the text, just select the cells, and hit delete or backspace on your keyboard. To insert additional rows or columns, start by selecting a cell in your table. Then, open the table styles and look for the insert icons. The icon with a line at the top adds a new row above the selected cell. The icon with a line at the bottom, adds a new row below the selected cell. The icon with a line to the left, adds a new column to the left of the selected cell. And the icon with the right line adds a new column to the right. Unfortunately, SharePoint still doesn't support merging cells. So if you need to create a complex table, we suggest building it in Microsoft Word. Here, go to Insert. Choose Table. Select the cells you need, and click the selection to add a table to the page. To merge rows, select the cells you'd like to merge. Then go to the Table Layout tab. Click Merge. Then Merge Cells. Now select the table and press Ctrl and C, or Command and C to copy it. Finally, head back to SharePoint, and paste the table into a text web part. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for important Microsoft news and updates, and a chance to win prizes, be sure to hit the link in the description, and join our newsletter today.